comparison between microscope and astronomical telescope. Eh? Okay. Uh, first, first of all, we compare the power of the two lenses, objective lens and eyepiece. Eh? Objective lens and eyepiece. So this one, object lens, try to uh, correct it. This is called objective lens and this is called eyepiece. Eh? So for astronomical telescope, the objective lens has lower power, but for compound microscope, the objective lens has higher power. And uh, for the eyepiece, the astronomical telescope has higher power, but the compound microscope has lower power. Second, the positions of the object. For astronomical telescope, the object must be very, very far away, okay? So it's at infinity, the object is at infinity. So this one is nothing we can do about it, okay? You cannot control. The object must be very far away, so at, at infinity. But for compound microscope, because we want to produce a real image, real image, so therefore the object must be uh, between f and 2f. Okay, real image. Huh? Real image is uh, uh, more than f. Huh? Okay, and then we want to have a magnified image, so it must be uh, f and 2f. Huh? So to get real and magnified image, f and 2f. This is also a famous question that they will ask you the positions of the object. Normally, this one they won't ask you the positions of the object. Huh? This one we know is infinity. This one they will ask you where should we put the object. Um, the natures of the image form, okay, for compound microscope, real inverted magnify, but for astronomical telescope, real inverted. Oh, this one is smaller. Okay, do the corrections here. Smaller. Okay, real inverted, smaller. This one real, this one real inverted magnify. Uh, oh, yeah, you can also write diminished, eh? okay? Then the positions of the image, image. So uh, for astronomical telescope, because the object is very, very far away from infinity, so therefore the image will form at the principal focus, eh? the principal focus of the objective lens, uh, F O, F capital letter. So it will form at the principal focus the objective lens. By compound microscope, because you place the object between F and 2F, eh? So the first image I1 must place between the optical centers of the eye lens with the eye lens principal focus point Fe. Okay, so this image must be placed in between the optical center and the uh, principal focus between O and F. Uh. So then you will get the, the second image, okay, the second image. And uh, for compound microscope, the second image is virtual inverted and magnify. Okay, virtual inverted, magnify. And astronomical telescope is virtual inverted and smaller. Smaller is because the object is from very, very far away. The object is very, very far away. So the, the image is still smaller than the actual object, right? So distance between two lenses, astron astronomical telescope is FO plus FE, but uh, compound microscope is bigger than FO plus Fe. So the distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece in the compound microscope is bigger than the sum of the focal lengths, the Fo plus Fe. Eh? So this is plus, okay. Here it's, it's shown negative minus, actually it's plus, eh? okay, plus. And uh, the last one is the formula for the magnifications. Eh? For astronomical telescope, Fo over Fm, but for uh, compound microscope, is is M1 over M2, M M1 times M2, okay. M1 is the height of the image 1 divided by the height of object and M2 is the height of the second image divided by the height of the first image. So then you can get the height of the second image divided by the height of the object. Uh, so we can use this to find the magnifications of the compound microscope.